in this episode of behind us mathi osi with madevan namu kuda the macho man rana irukkar vanakkam thank you so vanakkam indha padam gazi paakum bodhu engalukku romba patriotic ah feel aagum ellam okay oru shooting appo what is the most patriotic moment see when you're doing a film like this ipo idu vandu it's based on the 1971 india pakistan war it's based on a true event that happened of the sinking of the gazi and every time you hear this, this story when you every day when you when you're on it when you first wear the uniform any armed force you will have you will have a sense to see because there's a patriot in all of us ellar kulla patriots me irukku and some people voice it out some people don't and uh, the day i was wearing the uniform is the first day you felt i feel felt rather a sense of power a sense of pride because these people are people uh, the armed forces are people who've chosen to leave their lives in order to protect us for us in order to make sure that we have a happy life here now today it's 2017 we most of us don't even know what it is to be at war most of us don't understand the situation of war but in the 1970s it was not like that it was obviously there was a lot of tension between countries because obviously independence was coming at that point british just left so it there was a lot of struggle for this country to do so that we are here today and, and very very happily here today so this is one such incident and uh, and every time when you're saying lines that are that the army had said before or the navy had said before so that's always a big sense of patriotism and uh, and a sense of righteousness that will be inside you and coming to topsy's character and the mari or character unmayave irundaangala ena or and the mari character unmaya irundala illaya therilla enakku edukna but because this is a classified file ulle enna nadandho none of us will ever know but we've made it based on true facts that we found we will link up stories but tapsi character one she is a bangladeshi refugee in the padathla and unmaya enna nanadana 1971 la the liberation of bangladesh happened uh, from east pakistan and lot of bangladeshi refugees were settling in india because why there were a lot of hindus there and they were being killed and massacred tapsi's character is one such person adukaparam or submarine padam panumbodu when you do things like exactly like how the submarine is done a layman will never understand because there are certain laws certain protocols that is told from tapsi's point of view okay so and the reality is a hero irukanu nadraga illa it's not and there's no love story in the film there's none of that at all okay. it's a true blue uh, okay. war film romba sandoshamana vishayama irukku kekkumbodu sir neenga first first director kadha sollumbodu did you feel that he is very young so first director in kadha epo epo solla sir enakku vandu i went and found that director oh. so he was somebody who was trying to make a short film on this incident and when i heard that he was trying to make it that's when i heard the story and we decided to make a full length feature film on it now avarku vandu ipo idu munadi padam pannala he is not an experienced film yeah, that is why i'm asking he but but he is somebody who wants to tell a story he knows the story better than anybody else he has written a book called the blue fish based on this incident idalla irukumbodu even whether or not he had actors whether or not he had people or film maker la or kadha sollu varu aasai irukum and that's when he went to went forward to make a short film and that's enough for you to understand the reason he has told the story see we are people who have some experience in the film business so obviously our help was we paired him up with writers and the padangala vandu it's the first time anybody is making a war film a submarine film so aesthetic ah ella correct ah irukano so we got him the best uh, production team in terms of the best cinematographer whether the best art directors whether it's the best editors so there are people like madhi on board there are people like shikhar prasad on board people who have done cinema of, of great length and great magnitude and uh, and there you go that's when that's how the film is made ipo ninga sonninga ellarkulliyume oru patriot irupaanga kandipa ipo recent ah oru rule pass pannanga and ella padangalukku onnume theater la vande national anthem play pandranga for a movie like gazi it's fine uh, what about the other movies rana porthu varaikum ungala opinion la neenga eppadi paakkuringa see one is uh, see one is it's always lovely to sing the national anthem it's uh, i don't know what is right or what is wrong it's uh, now there is a country that we have we are law abiding citizens so we follow a set of rules and if that is if we are sitting here we are one very minority of the auditorium of the of the people in this country there are 1 billion people it's a 100 crore very small we are very uh, see opinion we are not the opinion makers we are people who have a voice something that might be correct for me or wrong for me might be the other way for the other person so i think whatever uh, a uh, statement has been made on or whatever decision has been done so like in maharashtra for many many years they've been playing this David. many years 
and the cinema goers are not affected. I mean, it's not, it's not like it will stop the cinema in this because you want to watch a film, you are watching a film. You are already there in the theatre for that. We have made the decision already. Yeah, you made the decision, you bought a ticket and went inside. Now, when you sing the national anthem, see, now we, there are many warnings that we give before a film, saying smoking is injurious to health or consumption of liquor is not very good. Now, we're, if, if saying that you be proud of your country and sing the national anthem, there's nothing wrong in that. And the special edition bike on Wire Gini. Is it just because you uh, worked in a movie like Kazi? See, one is, see, obviously, from the last one and a half year, the only thing I've been discussing is INS Vikrant and Kazi and uh, S21s, and this is the only thing that's been on my mind. So, the minute I heard they've made a bike based on the metal that was melted from INS Vikrant of 1971, I thought it's a very nice thing for me to have because, I mean, that's, that's part of history. It's, see, you can call it scrap metal that they made a bike out of, or you can call it the INS Vikrant. And it is a war, a warship that has been melted and made a motorcycle for every civilian. Or a, or a spot on question, surprise question. Ajit Kumar, you look at the first look, Vivekam first look. Sir, nah, I, I was extremely excited. Now, on the, I called Ajit sir directly. Only. I was shooting somewhere in Bombay and I called him. I called him and I said, I said, sir, is it true what I am looking at right huh? now on Twitter? He said, yes, chief, it's all of this. And, and I was extremely proud and happy because I know him very well. I have done a film with him. I have worked out with him in gyms. And... Uh, the number of injuries he has, the number of difficulties he's gone through physically, it's very hard to do this because I, I understand bodybuilding very well. I've built, I, I, I've built solid bodies and it's extremely commendable and it's very uh, inspirational when he's done something like that. And again, Ghazi has two Samayana padangal Bahubali conclusion. Yes. And in Enoki Payan Totala, you're playing a major role. No, no, I'm not playing anything. You're not playing I'm, it. I'm just there as a blink and miss scam. You blink your eyes for two seconds, I'll be gone. All that? Yes, that's all. It's just Gautam is a very good friend. He asked me and I went and did it. That's nah, all. I don't know if you're going to kill me. No, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to They wanted a cameo for something and Gautam called me and that's it. And over there, there's a patriotic movie. In defense, there's a posting or a character. Do you want to see that in your film? See, it's difficult to label because nobody makes films like this. See, who has made films like this before? Nobody. It's I mean, we who went and found this filmmaker, wanted to make a film out of and made this film. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to do many roles like this because Ghazi is one of the many stories that is there in the uh, Indian war stories that are, that are out to come. And I'm hoping this film does well. <coughs> a, one is because it's my film and all of that. But also because it opens up a lot of cinema. If you go to Olive West, there will be a lot of films that celebrate their warriors. Whether it's the Marines, whether it's the Army, whether it's the Defense. You know, Wesley agree that it's not even Hollywood. I mean, they're Russian films that they make on the armies. So, so many films to celebrate their country and, and their armed forces. If India is going to be in India, I'm hoping. I'm going to talk about the Naray Padang. Definitely. I'm going to talk about the Naray Padang. Definitely. And I'm going to talk about the Naray Padang. Anything, if you want to interview or do anything, you can do anything like this. So, if you want to shoot a film, you can say that you want to shoot a film, you can say that you want to shoot a film. And what is the one thing that you learnt? There are many things that you learn. Now, the incident is coming. In 1970, the war is coming. That's the basic idea. Now, I was not born in the war time. I don't know what the incident was at that time. Uh, in the morning, when I met a lot of Navy admirals, I met a lot of people in this course of this film. Uh, there are so many stories, whether it's uh, during independence, during liberation. So, India went through a very imbalanced time. And today, if we are all here today happily. It's the fight of all those people that has brought us here. And it's important, A, to learn these stories. Now, I'm very happy that, see, for India, one day, we have the fourth largest Navy in the world. And, we uh, don't have Navy, we don't, I don't even know what a documentary to watch to understand about the Indian Navy. And so it's like, see, I don't have anything to uh, see and celebrate these people, of uh, these unsung heroes. So that way, there's a lot that I learned in terms of how things function in the Army, in, in the Navy, especially in submarines now. I feel very happy that Thank you and the director path approach in the project. Thank you, thank you so much. And in the same way, it's not the same way. It's not the same way. It's not the same way. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.